What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. And it is mad late at the time of recording this, but I don't care because we got to get the hype continued here following the stream because the Mets have won their first game of the 2021 MLB season. And boy, does it feel good in a heart attack fashion because what else can we expect as Mets fans, right? Only their second game in after a heartbreaking loss in which I was there at opening day. So check out my vlog if you guys did not see it. It was so much fun, even with them faltering in the end to the Phillies in the eighth inning, giving up five unanswered runs. It was ridiculous. But here in tonight, game things were different facing off against chase anderson anderson who was quick pitching quite early and the umpiring which was just absurd can we just talk about the officiating for one second this series and again i'm trying to say this as unbiased as possible from both the mets and the phillies perspective has been an absolute joke but the phillies got more calls often than not where the ball was clearly out of the strike zone for a full-on strike it was a clear joke give me the robo bots already there as a yumps it needs to happen it's just fury fear and fury and if you ask me how we have been seeing this happen so many times year after year you think that maybe they get more practice with everything being off given the pandemic but no they don't so in a nutshell the mets still win this game big time eight to four and thank you dom smith people ask me ask me in my stream tonight who i think would really step up for the mets and one guy that first came to my mind the first guy that i mentioned if my memory is not mistaken is dom smith after being sat and didn't even get one one at bat not even a pinch hit at bat back in the first game because you had matt moore a southpaw coming from japan the past year and then really has been an all-star to say it lightly at the mlb level at this point in his career why wouldn't you have dom smith in the lineup lefty against lefty who cares right against kevin pilar again i talked about that plenty but still i still like what i saw from dom tonight in his first game of the season he hits a two-run Apo Taco with Pete Alonso on first to get things going earlier in the game. And that is how the mess really started to soar here. They gave up a couple runs here and there. The defense was definitely up and down. We saw not just walks, we saw errors. We saw literally blue pits. We saw little dribblers in the infield that simply couldn't be picked up because they were so awkward. So many things didn't go the Mets or the Phillies way from a fielding perspective tonight. But the Mets jumped on more of the pitches than not. They took advantage of the pitches given to them and they really worked guys like Vince Velasquez as well. And that led to a bunch of runs coming in against Hale. Pete Alonso had a bomb as well and that really blew things open so the Mets had a six run lead going into the ninth inning with Therese Familia on the mound. It originally was going to be Edwin Diaz but they were like you know what we have ourselves a six run lead up eight to two. Let's bring Familia get that cushion and lo and behold Familia does give up a run in the process. Two runs were scored in general but the Mets still win eight to four in the end and just an overall great performance. It was heart-wrenching don't get me wrong it was a heart attack. We saw Miguel Castro back in the seventh back-to-back -back days where he pitched in the seventh he gave up a run and had a couple guys on the bases still but he was able to get out of the jam like a stud i think he's gonna be a monster reliever for the mets this year so stay tuned the guy's like six foot seven can throw the heat at 100 miles per hour and has command on both his fastball and his off-speed pitches you love to see it then trevor may the gamer boy who did not have a good outing opening day he comes back out rojas is trying to give confidence early to these guys and may he got in a bit of a jam but he did not give up a run in the end he got out of it and you love to see it and then between Familia giving up a run it's not the end of the world because the Mets all in all got the runs when they need to and they stepped up big Francisco Lindor got his first RBIs and met a sack fly earlier in the game and just basically everyone contributed a lot of guys just got RBIs the Mets only had five hits tonight but got eight runs because of the walks and the errors and all this stuff so great outing by them and the biggest star in my mind really has to go to not just Dom Smith not just Pete Alonso with the home runs but is Marcus Stroman Stro was an absolute dog on the mound tonight for the Mets he pitched six beautiful and I truly mean beautiful innings what is Marcus Stroman known for he's known for being a ground ball pitcher you're gonna get a lot of grounders which is gonna be great for guys like Francisco Lindor who are arguably the best shortstops in the game especially defensively right well what we saw were a lot of grounders tonight soft grounders more to the right side than anything else just pulled right into the shift whether it was Gourmet or it would be Jeff McNeil then getting him out quick to Alonzo at first it was so easy I loved it he gave up one run which was a dead center bomb by Didi Gregorius but outside that he had three strikeouts and he was just cooking through the six innings he looks fantastic a 1.5 ear rate to get the season started and the Mets bullpen got the job done it's shaky it will be shaky throughout the year and hopefully the Mets address it when they feel it is deemed needed not yet obviously there are a lot of question marks still don't get me wrong but the season just started let's let these guys get comfortable between May between Luke between Castro Familia all of them I know we still have plenty to worry about we can't feel certain even with this six eight ten plus run lead we all know that nothing is certain until that final out is happening for the Mets to get the save so all in all a great game for the Mets a heart-wrenching one in a 
lot of ways, ups and downs, but I will take it. First win of the season, and that ends the Phillies' win streak at four games. So now they head to the series finale tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. David Pierce in the southpaw coming into his sophomore year in the MLB, facing off against arguably what could be a dark horse Cy Young candidate this year in Aaron Nola. Him and Zach Wheeler are the two-headed monster for the Phillies in that rotation. It will not be an easy game, but hopefully it's a good one, right? The Mets definitely need to get the bats out, and hopefully they didn't have all of them already done with this past game game the eight runs we hopefully can see some more because i'll be at that game again vlogging as i did for the opening day game i'll be vlogging that series finale a couple rows back from the field so it should be plenty of fun expect to see that vlog out sometime on thursday but in a nutshell the mets win this one age of four first win of the season baby let's effing go i'm so hyped i'm sure you guys are too and this should be the start of something truly incredible this season and even with them losing opening day they've had a good track record the last time they lost opening day was in the 2016 season when they went all the way to the wild card game and they also lost in 1969 and 1986 seasons on opening day so take that as you will guys i'll let you run with that if you will but i think that maybe it's not such a bad thing they lost on opening day and i will definitely bite the bullet even with me being there so again i hope you guys enjoyed this recap on the mets game winning eight to four with only five hits just getting a lot done and brandon nemo what can i say this man is always bolting at first on those walks uh, boy, does it put a smile on my face, no pun intended. But thank you all so much for watching today's video, guys. If you did, in fact, enjoy, please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. Follow the notification bell. All those great things. Thank you all so much for the channel support, too. And for checking out the live stream, expect more great streams on the channel throughout the season going forward. We're going to be doing so many of them. We're going to be doing individual player content. We're going to be doing more vlogs, not just for tomorrow's game, but I'm going to be vlogging the entire series between the Phillies and the Mets and Queens next week. It'll either be in separate videos or one major vlog. So stay tuned for that and just make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Mets first win of the season baby let's go and I'll talk to you soon